and welcome to Expat Your Life. My name is Abram, I'm the host and creator of the channel. Uh, the way I normally try to do things is by bringing you stories of other expats and introducing them, introducing you to the world of expatriation or immigration uh, through the eyes of others. However, I've released about seven videos so far and one of the things that keeps coming up in each of the videos is talking about doing your research. Now, I think doing your research is a vital part of making the move, uh, as it has been with all of the people that I have interviewed. Uh, so this is a big thing. Now, what do you mean by do your research? What does that mean? So I've decided I'm gonna start making a few videos to go into and dive into how to do the research, what the research is, and what it means uh, to do your research. This video, first off, will just kind of outline some of the things that you need to look at when you're going overseas, and I will make following videos to kind of follow up on the different topics that we talked about. Now, since there are quite a few of top these topics, I've written them down, I don't have them memorized off the top of my head, it's something that can take quite a bit of work. Uh, so I'm gonna look onto my trusty phone and, and go through the different topics for you. Uh, and again, just give you a brief idea of what to come, what's to come with each of these videos. Uh, so first is when you're choosing your country, what's the first thing that you want to make sure to take a look at is language. And the, the reason why language will be important is this will help you get anything done from getting a taxi from the airport to wherever you need to go to ordering food or beers or asking directions uh, once you're on the ground. Uh, one thing that works great is Google Translate uh, or any other translation apps. However, in a lot of cases, you will need Wi-Fi for those to work. So language is a big one. Can you understand the people, the language of the country that you're going to? Or can they understand you? Do they speak English uh, enough for uh, you to be understood or your, your own language? Second will be finances. Uh, this is mainly for those who are looking to expatriate, not so much those that are looking to travel. However, this will also play a key role in international travel. Uh, will you be able to find work abroad? Uh, can you work from home while overseas if you have a Wi-Fi connection or a laptop? Uh, these are all things that you need to keep in mind uh, as you are traveling or living in another country. Next will be food. Ha. This one is going to be a huge one. Uh, if you have an adventurous palate, this will be no problem. But if you have a specific palate or you are very picky when it comes to eating, uh, this will play a huge role into where you go. Uh, can you find the foods that you're accustomed to? Or are you willing to try the local cuisines? Are you willing to eat the local cuisine on a daily basis? Or can you find something that's suitable or uh, you know similar to what you have at home? This is something to keep in mind when you're living in the uh, The next would be culture. Are you traveling someplace just for the beaches? Or are you planning on going there and diving into the history? learning about the people, what they do, how they do things, their way of life. This is also something that can play a really important role. Um, later on, we'll talk about this in further detail. Others will be employment and business opportunities. Uh, is the country friendly to entrepreneurs? Do they want to bring people in? Uh, and this will play later on into the role of visas and the type of visa that you get. Uh, another big thing to research is healthcare. Uh, does the healthcare system in the country that you want to go to match up to uh, your home country? Or is it something similar? Or is it completely different? Um, and that just completely, again, depends on you and what you're willing to accept. Driving and transportation. Uh, this is a big one. There are two sides of the road. The right side and then the wrong side. I'm just kidding. Uh, the right or the left. A lot of countries that have British influence, they drive on the left-hand side of the road, uh, whereas a lot of other countries drive on the right-hand side of the road. Uh, this will be something that can play into your, your research. Also, the licensing, will they accept the license from your home country or do you need to get an international license? We'll drive in further into that one in a different video. Uh, make sure that you are staying legal with your taxes. Uh, if you're an American, 
at home and while abroad, that's gonna be a very big thing um, because you can be taxed twice if you make enough money. Again, we'll follow that up in more detail in another video. Uh, safety, uh, is the country safe? Is the country that you're going to? Is it safe, is it filled with petty crime or is it more dangerous crime? Is the country you're planning on going to going through a war? These are some things for you to take a look at as well. Uh, if you have a family and you're looking to travel with your family, uh, we'll dive into that one in a whole separate video that will probably be a little bit longer because it will take into account everything plus schools, uh, daycares, and other attractions for, that are more family friendly than it would be for the solar travel. Uh, housing will be another one uh, and talking about you know how to find housing, uh, what the rules are, and uh, you know if you depending on what you want for your country, these are other things to look at. Uh, we talked about visa status already. This is incredibly important, especially if you plan on living overseas for a long term, uh, longer time uh, than just a few weeks or a few months. Okay, law enforcement. Uh, we'll talk about law enforcement as well. Uh, is the country law enforcement uh, safe or is it more helpful or is it more dangerous to talk to law enforcement than it is, you know, these are all the things to take in mind and keep in uh, the back of your head as you're making the decision. Uh, seeing if you have a local embassy in the country that you're planning on going to uh, is also something that will help out. And we'll also talk about studying abroad and how to select the country that you want to go to and what to look for as far as the schools and everything. So this video is just introducing some of the ideas, some of the areas that you want to study. Uh, if you have any, uh, if you're an expat and you have any suggestions that I should add to this list, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this content, please like and hit the subscribe button uh, so you can get more of this. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I release a new video. Now, uh, the videos that I do release are not always going to be me talking. Uh, they will be interviews of other expats and I'm going to try and bring on other professionals to help you through the process. Uh, so stay tuned for more, um, please interact, and until the next time we talk, stay safe, stay healthy, and travel. See ya.